All right, let's talk about this auntie right here. What women want from their husband? Remember a few days ago we did uh, what? Is it what men want? Something like that, right? So, what do women want from their husbands? Anybody? You have an idea? We're few here today. So, if you have an opinion, what is it? What's the one thing that you want from your husband? Your husband to be your husband, anyone, right? What's that one thing? that you want tell me be honest be honest don't prejudge me i'm taking everything in tell me what is that one thing that you want from your husband while i'm waiting for that let me go ahead and play this video of uh, something that transpired between a husband and a wife i thought it was interesting i saw it a few days ago so i'm actually going to need to remind myself we're going to watch it together right now thank you happy Let's try it again. What can I do to make you happy? Buy clothes for me. Yeah. Clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes. And perfume. And perfume. That's all. Uh, I'll make you happy. Are you all right? That's not what that will make me happy. Why would, I, why would that be all that will make me happy? My life does not depend on clothes and shoes. For one nine years. Is that all? All right, right, let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> First of all, she's too Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, she said, she first of all said, did she say clothes? Let's play it again. What can I do to make you happy? Buy clothes for me. Buy clothes yeah. for me. Clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes. And perfume. And perfume. That's all that will make you happy. Are you all right? That's not what that will make me happy. Why would, I, why would that be all that will make me happy? My life does not depend on clothes and shoes. For one nine year. Is that what I make? Is that what I'm thinking mm-hmm. of what the fuck I need to surprise you? Conscience. Conscience. Ha! Conscience. Conscience. Consent. 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 It's not even seeking consent. It's seeking opinion. What I think. Consent. Seeking consent it's is. It's the same thing now. It's not the same thing. When you seek someone's consent, it's approval to do something. That's seeking consent. But seeking opinion is someone's like someone's idea on a particular thing. Mm. So they are two different things. Now you are seeking my opinion. Mm. Am I a good husband? That's a check, maybe. You are thinking about it. Huh. Seventy-five. Huh. Seventy-five over hundred. I'm not a good husband. You pass now. Twenty-five percent. She says seventy-five percent. Pass now. You mean twenty-five? It's just some things that I need to put in place. No, that one's gone. Okay. Uh, nobody did that. Oh, Barry. Mm. Oh, Barry. Uh, nobody did that. Let me see what you all are saying. What do, what women want from their husband? Well, I'll take it as a joke when she said clothes and shoes. But I'm not sure if we got any solid answers. Because the gentlemen are, they are listening. Gentlemen and them, they are listening. What is the one thing? I'm coming to the chat now. Hmm. <laughs> he asked you a question, silly. You better use this upon to tell him, madam. <laughs> she says, shoes. The lady is right. How? How? What is she right about? Which part was she right about? What can I do to make you happy? My clothes for me. Yeah. Clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes. And perfume. And perfume. That's all that will make you happy. And perfume. Are you alright? That's not what that will make me happy. Why would, I, why would that be all that will make me happy? My life does not depend on clothes and shoes. For one nine years. For one nine years. Is that what I'm thinking of what the fuck I need to surprise you actually. I'm supposed to seek my conscience. Mm-hmm. Conscience. Conscience. Ha! Conscience. Conscience. Consent. 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 It's not even seeking consent. It's seeking opinion. What I think. Consent. Seeking it's consent the, it's is. The same thing now. It's not the same thing. When you seek someone's consent, is approval to do something. That's seeking consent. But seeking opinion is someone's like someone's idea on a particular. This thing. whole session has translated yes. to English yes. class. So now you are seeking my opinion. Uh-huh. Am I a good husband? That's a check, maybe. They're thinking about it. No man is perfect. 
That's terrible. Around, right? That's, That's just bad. Was bad. You pass now. 25 you pass now. You pass now. You mean 25 you pass now. or something that you need to put in place? No, that was okay. Um. Anyway, let me see if we can get to this real quick. She defined what she meant before the man twisted. She never said what she wanted. Neither have you all told me anything that you would want from a husband. Let's talk. Let's talk face to face. Okay. <laughs> Not be juju be that. I asked you a question, right? You didn't tell me what you listen. I'm not a woman, right? So it was an authentic question. Look at what she just did. Look at what they do. There's at least two, three people right now that can chat, that can tell me. I'm sure the people that watch replay will say something about this, right? I didn't get one single answer. I get some people are agreeing with her. And then she didn't even give one single answer. The first answer she gave sound like a joke. It's a coat and shoes. And then she said, you are 419. She said, coat and shoes, perfume. She said, you are 419. And she never really gave an answer. Listen, have you noticed that I don't really create content here? We're just engaging, right? <laughs> she is uh, here is what I want. What is it that you want? Oh, she's about to type. Are you typing? All right? Rebecca says, continue to love me. Right? Let's look at the first question, right? What can I do to make you happy? What can your husband do to make you happy? Right? That's his first question. That's his first question. So a little bit different from the title question. What would what men, women want from their husbands, right? So we're assuming they are married. Essentially the same thing. Like what can he do to make her happy? Right? What do you want from your husband? Potato, potato, come on, you to dear. Answer one of the questions. Let's even say they're different. Right? Answer one of the questions. Right? So when men say, so we're supposed to read minds, ni. Yeah? Say what they want me, ni. Hey, are we supposed to be reading minds? Right? My answer to them is always yes. They don't like when I give the answer. But these are the reasons why I give, these are the issues why I give that answer. When I say read minds, I don't mean literally reading minds. It's just, you can't count on her being able to tell you. She might not be able to tell you. Not just want to tell you. It's not like she doesn't want to tell you. She's not capable of telling you. In a lot of ways, it could also be because she doesn't know what she wants. She might say things like, continue to love me. And you're like, that's what I'm trying to do. So tell me what would make me, what would, you, what would make you happy? That would make you feel like I'm continuing to love you. I love you already, but you were upset like 30 minutes ago. Like completely, like I'm like, I feel like it was out of nowhere because when one were laughing, the next time you're like, eh, because you don't listen. Kill me, Auntie. I don't listen. If you don't know, you leave me alone, Jerry. Just leave me alone for now. <laughs> right? These are the issues. Uh, gentlemen, if you have a wife doing that to you, it's okay. It's all right. You're not alone. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay? All right, but um, that's your responsibility to figure it out, okay? When you figure it out, um, the result of it is actually sweeter, it's better, okay? Than when she has to tell you, okay? If she has to tell you, uh, in the name of, just communicate like an adult. Nah, it's not as, the, the reward of it is not as sweeter. It's sweeter when you're able to figure it out, right? And there's a lot to that conversation. And, and give him list of needs now. <laughs> she <I> bring something, <laughs> right? Something. Say something. She just said, "I would love for my future husband to be loving, caring, 
not be dismissive okay respectful okay protective and romantic okay i love for him to be open-minded to explore with me and keep it spicy oh that part mm, okay let's see kathy is shout out to kathy williams kathy said love and affection someone who listens and understands me someone who who is consistent with his actions and trustworthy all right that's specific kind of vague but specific enough right um i would love him to spend quality time with me lots of touch and words of affirmation like you smell good you look good thank you oh oh i need a sound effect that says oh right <laughs> That's nice. All right. Finally, we got some words. Finally, we got some words. So I've done some exercise in the past. I'm going to leave it at that. If you want us to continue the conversation, we can continue the conversation even more later, right? But let me just round this up like this. After a lot of assessment, after a lot of grouping, and then analyzing what we collected over time, my wife and I, it comes out to women ultimately needs to feel three things love but that's whatever love means to her right to her in particular to you might be different right so you need to find out what love means to her she needs to feel safe and she needs to feel secure and there's going to be moments that she doesn't feel those things uh welcome to the real world right and if she's not feeling those things it's not a big deal she's normal just like anybody else when it comes to love secure now how that what that means to that's common that's rules love security uh safety feel safe feel secure feel loved right um a lot of times what that looks like is she needs to feel heard she needs to feel seen she wants to feel significant but we can get, go deeper but if you keep those three things and then find out what those three things mean to your girl i think you'll be you'll be light years ahead of most people okay like years ahead of most people most people are not patient enough to find out what these things are right because they get caught up in their own feelings too they have need emotional needs as well um so they disengage from having foresight and say hey if she feels these things there's a reward i can also uh she will she's an incubator for the most part she will receive multiply reciprocate meaning in multiple folds right um just like the sun and the earth, right? Masculine, feminine energy, right? Uh, in certain, in a particular order, meaning you lead first, you sow those seeds first before you can complain about anything. But if you want us to continue the conversation, you know, we can continue that. But those are based off of what this young lady is doing. Just what they just said right now confirms everything I just said. Uh, quality time is a little bit specific to that person. For some people, that's what makes them feel loved. For some people, that's smothering. Like, I need some space, right? Some people like that, you know, are like that. So you need to know who your particular person is and what they like. And uh, you might need some help with that. Like I said, uh, you damn sure, damn near have to read minds sometimes. And there's a good chance you don't know how to read minds. But some help can go a long way. Why should I seek this kind of help? Well, you keep, as a man, as a king, you get to keep your home together, right? So as a king that you are, you get to keep your home together because I know that's ultimately what you want. So there's reward in that for not just you, you, your wife, and your children, okay? So let me see. Uh, Chinye says, need feel heard, not being dismissive, yes. That was something that I had to learn properly. It's huge for you. Mm, that's what's up. Yes, I would love for you to continue this conversation. I need all the smother. She wants to be smothered. Like, smother me. <laughs> She's touchy-feely, right? My wife is touchy-feely too. Uh, to a point of like, why are you touching me over there, man? <laughs> right? Um, she likes her space too, but... You know, it's about just learning what feeling loved, feeling safe, feeling secure mean to your particular woman, right? You lead with those three things. Yes, there are rules. Yes, there are guides. Those are the guides right there. And then you go into your particular wife 
And then you find out what those things mean to her, what it looks like for her, and then you take some time off to process it. And then you sow those seeds because you can. You, you're carrying a sack, a nut sack with 20 million of those seeds. You can. Yes, you can, King. Yes, you can. You sow those seeds and as, you know, as a, you know, fertile ground, she will reciprocate, right? But if you're not patient, if you don't understand seasons, you go struggle, shall. It is what it is, you know, I struggle for real life. But what women want from their husbands are more all deep. I think it's a conversation we'll continue to have with some specific uh, examples uh, later on. Okay. Uh, Chinya says, I would love my space after when I'm done. <laughs> wahala, 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 wahala. I'll be right back. 